Hey everyone, so today I'll be showing you a day in the life of a pet raccoon. I typically like to start off the day by walking Tito because it allows him to stretch his legs and burn off some excess energy after being in his cage all night. He doesn't really like the walks though, but raccoons tend to struggle with obesity in captivity, so I think it's pretty important for him to get out each day and be able to go walk around the block. That's one way to help keep things balanced and make sure that he's uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Alright, so as you can see, Tito and I finally made it on a walk. He's not too big, a, he's not a big fan of walks, but um, in order to keep him healthy, I, I make him do it at least once a day, sometimes every other day. Um, but yeah, uh, it's good for him, kind of gets him active and gets him outside, and it helps him also get used to like uh, the everyday noises of like cars, people, uh, and other pets. So I think it's an important routine that we do, and yeah, so here he is. So typically after we get done walking, I spend the next 20 or so minutes teaching Tito and reinforcing old tricks. And I do this because after his walk, he's typically a lot more calm during the uh, than he will be throughout the day. And when he's more calm, he does less uh, exploring around the room. He stays focused for significantly longer, and so that's important when doing the training session. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Hold it. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Hold it. Good boy, good boy. Lay, 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 lay. Good boy, lay, 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 lay. Hold it. Good boy, good job. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Here. Lay. Get away. Good boy. Good boy. Get away. Lay. No, lay. Play. Good boy. Good boy.
So it's at this time that I like to let out the ferrets and have them enjoy some playtime as well. And I like to do this after Tito's training session because it helps me gauge um, how much energy Tito has. If he has too much energy, I typically keep Tito in his cage just because I don't want him pouncing on the ferrets. And so if he's playing too rough, um, then it's not a good situation for the bear. And I want them to have some good quality play time without being stressed that uh, Tito might squish them or play too rough with them. So I always keep my eye on the situation and monitor it closely to make sure that everybody's getting along well, no one's having a bad time. And so yeah, I, when it needs to put Tito up, let the ferrets out. And it's important for them to get just as much time uh, outside as Tito does. So some of the things I put into place are crates like this uh, because the ferrets can easily get in and out of them, uh, but Tito can't. So if they need a place to hide, um, they just run into things like this all around the room. Um, and then Tito can't get at them, and then they get to come out when they want to. So yeah. When it's time to put up Tito for the night, I take his green ball and put his dinner inside of it. As you can see here, I'm putting in some pecans to help demonstrate how he goes about getting his food out of it. When it is his bedtime, I'll fill it with his actual dinner for that night and then I'll place it somewhere in his cage. This will help simulate his natural foraging behavior and help provide him with some extra enrichment. <laughs> 